Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. Um, it is a gloomy Saturday afternoon here, so we're gonna sit down and kind of go over my other plans for 2025. I do just want to start off by saying thank you for all of the love and I'm just, I'm so surprised with how well my last video is doing. And I do genuinely love the setup that I've started for 2025 and I'm just so appreciative that you guys love it too and are engaging and letting me know because the support, it seriously, it means so much to me. So just want to say thank you for that. Um, this is my favorite page of my 2025 setup so far, but I figured that we could also start on my 2025 pocketbook that I'm going to be using from Bullet Journal. It's something that I've done before. Um, I started about halfway through this last year, but I want to do it a little differently. So we're going to get this bullet journal set up and yeah, it's going to be similar style to the, this. It's going to be simple, minimalistic, nothing too crazy. So to start with, I did actually order another vinyl from the Coffee Monster Co. And so we're going to put this here on the front. Looks like we should be able to perforate it here. Maybe. I did do my nails last night. Um, so, trying to get used to a new length, but. Just like that. So what I did for my pocketbook last year is I used it as like a small daily journal entry. I think I kind of want to do the same thing, although I might be adding more to-do lists to it just because if I really think about it, I don't keep to-do lists anywhere, which eh, it's kind of the whole point of bullet journaling aside from the schedule. So at least in my opinion, that's what I've used it for in the past. So. I think I'll do small journal entries along with to-do lists so that way it kind of does mix things up and I don't get too burned out from doing the same thing over and over again. But it's just right here. And then we should probably add a sticker. Maybe I should do So this is what we're going to go with. This is the cover and then the first page. So in this, I don't think I'm going to do um, like a glance ahead kind of thing like I did here. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to use this first page for. And when I asked for suggestions on what to use blank pages for in my last video, you guys were very helpful. So if you want to leave suggestions on what to do with this one, I know I could do like a table of contents or an index or something like that. But I don't know, maybe there's something else like a cover page or something like that. Just let me know. And I know that it says index here, but I'm not going to use it as an index. We're going to set up for January. So let's get started. I'm going to do, I am going to do a calendar. I know I have a calendar in my other bullet journal that I set up for January, but we'll just do a mini one to reference. 
and I'm going to use my current pocket book to reference. So I, I haven't set up November yet. I suppose I could do that. Uh, I'll just give you an idea of what I have been doing for this in the past. So I would do a calendar and then goals. Um, so I think we're going to do something similar. So let's use this as a reference so I get my measurements right. So maybe I should do it with pencil first. That would probably be smart, but actually I'm not going to do it. And I want to take a look at... January over here. Okay, I am going to use pencil first. So we have the calendar set up. We did have a little bit of smearing here, but we'll cover it up. It's totally fine. But now we're going to just fill it in and yeah, we'll come back, see how it looks. I'm going for, you know, still a very minimalistic look. I don't think I'm going to add in too much like work because I work every day, but we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. It's going to be a little different though.
So we're set up. I erased my pencil marks. This is the basic setup for the monthly calendar for January that we're going to be doing. So now let's add some stickers. I think to start with, I'm going to do, hmm, maybe the washi tape. I swear I'm looking into getting new tweezers. Just haven't fully gotten around to it. Okay, now should I put it before the word January? Or after? I'm kind of leaning towards before. Okay. And January is a winter month, but I don't really have any winter stickers now that I think about it. Something I'll have to look into. But what I do have is lots of work stickers, like journal stickers, that we can use. Oops. Hmm. Thinking I'll do this one. This pen sticker. We can put it maybe like this. Now, I think I actually like the idea of a planning theme for January because January first marks what would it be two full years of doing Ellen's journals which is crazy because I never really thought that I'd do it for this long not that it's a bad thing it just seems like a long time maybe I'll do one of these and, I mean, I have ideas of where I'd like this to go, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Maybe not within the next year, but, you know, looking towards it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I think so. I think that's good. I like that. And while I may not be writing in what I work every day, I will add these little washi nano dots from Daisy Papers. Again, like I did in my other bullet journal. For the important stuff. And I think I might just... I don't know. Should I write in? Or will I just know? I guess we'll find out. Wow, these are small. Okay. So we'll do that for now. Um, and then, like I said, in the past I wrote down, that was a good example, goals. So I suppose I should, although it's November, and I don't really know what my goals are for January, but I'll still write it in. Maybe I should add a sticker. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do need to do is add the monthly tab. 
same sheet for my main bullet journal. So we'll match because I'm nice enough to add two sets to one sheet. So how do I want to space this one out? Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.